Mmm, I love the smell of oats. Hello, it's Jasmine, and I figured I would show you really fast how I make my semi-ground oats. I use it in a lot of my recipes. Banana pancake recipe, which I'll link in the description below. It's super easy and it's absolutely delicious. I have it for breakfast pretty much every day, at least for the past few months now. I like my oatmeal better this way because the texture is better if you like creamier oats as opposed to chunky oats. You know, this will do the trick. It takes maybe 20 seconds total for the whole bag, as you will see. It is so easy, but some people need a visual, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. So let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need is your oats. I'm gonna use this bag, full bag of Trader Joe's rolled oats. You can use whatever you may have on hand. Come on, they're rolled oats. All rolled oats are the same, basically. You can get the gluten-free ones if you wanna ensure that they weren't grown near wheat. Second thing you're gonna need is your blender or food processor. I have a Vitamix, it's crazy powerful. I use it for almost everything. Third thing you're gonna need, you can either put this stuff back in the bag, but I like to put things in a container. So you can see I have some here that I'm running out of, which is why we're making more today. It's magic. Are you ready for the insane difficulty that is involved here? Open up your bag. I do this in like three, so we'll do it um, three times. So pour a third or so into there. Put the cover on it. I turn this all the way up to 10, um, which is the, the highest power. And that's literally all I do. So you still want there to be some oats in here if you can see, my hands are clean. If you can see, you still want there to be you know, whole oats in there. You just kind of wanna literally semi-grind it. You just wanna grind half of it. If you wanna make oat flour, you just keep going until it's thinner and it's a flour. So then you take this, dump it in here. Let's do it again. This is a bad place to put this because you can't even shut this thing. Maybe three seconds. Look at that. You can still see some flakes, but you also see that it's just half flour, half flakes. Sometimes I'll pick it up, I'll give it a shake just to make sure it's even. There we go. The serving size I always use is a half cup when I make my banana pancakes or, you know, when I'm have oatmeal, it's typically a half cup. If I use a whole cup, I'll just do two of these. I just got one of these. I keep this in here and I just do that whenever I need it. All right, that is how you make semi-ground oats or potentially oat flour if you keep going with it. If you like your oatmeal nice and creamy, then this is the trick to always make it nice and creamy. I'll leave a link to this Vitamix and also to these off Amazon. You can find them anywhere though, like Bed Bath or whatever. Make sure to click the thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one or recipes or stress management techniques or whatever else it is that I happen to feel like posting. So that's all for now and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye. Real quick, grocery store tour guide, holistic fitness starter guide. This is full of a ton of things. It's great for kids. I think it's great for people going off to college. Of course, the holistic fitness starter guide, which is a breakdown of my approach when it comes to feeling your best, feeling your healthiest. It's on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, that's it.